Hey there, Steve at Fox Can Farms. So we uh, took some of the uh, stimulus money that we had received and uh, purchased a freeze dryer. And a few people have been asking about it. So I just thought I'd do a short video here, show you a little bit. Maybe I'll do some follow up or, or just accumulate some shots here. But this is the freeze dryer, Harvest Right freeze dryer. On the front here, we've got an acrylic uh, door. It's got the handle. The handle is two stage, goes one and then two, tightens it up. And what it does is it creates a seal against the door and the, and the seal that's here. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, what should I say? So for starters, I guess what I say is you put, the, you put your food in here, there's trays. This is the large version, so there's five trays. Food goes into here, you close it up, <clears throat> and you start it. And what it does is it freezes the food. So freezes it to about negative 40. And then it puts a vacuum in, the, in this chamber. There's a, there's a pump off to the side here. See the pump, vacuum pump. <clears throat> this particular pump, we change the oil about every 20 to 30 cycles is what you need to do is, is actually you filter the oil, then you can reuse it. And we've ran, we ran a couple batches through at this point, but what happens is the food goes in there, it freezes it, then it puts a vacuum in there so that it removes it, and so then what happens is underneath here, I'll show you that in just a second, there's heating pads under each of these shelves, <clears throat> and it heats up to 125 degrees, and what that does, because of the vacuum and because the chamber on the edges is about negative 40, what happens is the moisture that's in the food goes from a solid or ice, if you will, straight to a gas, and then it condenses on the, the chamber here. I'll take this out and show you. So this seal comes right off. And when it does that, then the, basically the food, the moisture is being removed from the food, and then you're left with purely just dry food. <clears throat> And when packaged properly, that, that food will store for 20 to 25 years. And the other bonus of freeze drying versus just using a freezer uh, or canning is that 97% of the nutrients are, are maintained. Whereas with canning, but I think it's about 60% of the nutrients are maintained. Now I'm going to pull out this shelf and show you this a little bit here. Now there's a cord that hooks in the back. I have that I already have it disconnected. But <coughs> So the way this comes, this just slides out like this. On the back here, there's the cord that goes into there, plugs into the heating pads, and there's sensors in here as well. <clears throat> and if you look at there, I think you can see the heating pads. we have got the right angle here. See the orange heating pads under each of the shelves. So that's how that works. So there's sensors in here, and it knows when it's done. And you can also add extra drying time if it seems like it needs a little more drying time. Basically, you want the food to be totally dry. No moisture at all, otherwise it'll spoil. So you put it in a Mylar bag, you put an oxygen absorber in there. When we bought this cart here, for storing it on, these are the oxygen absorbers. These are the ones we have right now that we're using. Put one or two of those in a bag, depending on the size of the bag. And these are the Mylar bags right here. Right, they just open up. And then, what you do is you put your food in there, you put an oxygen absorber in there. And then you seal it. This is the sealer. The way the sealer works is you plug it in, and then there's an adjustment on here for the temperature, the heat setting with the Mylar bags. You put it, put it on high, put the bag in there, put it down, and then the red light goes on, tells you it's heating up, and then it goes out. Hold it for just a little bit to make sure it seals. And Harvest Right recommends that you do at least two seals <coughs> on the bag just to make sure. Okay, so this is an example of, of a Mylar bag with green beans in it. There's about two pounds, maybe a little over two pounds of green beans in here. 
So you can see, I don't know if you can see that, if it shows up, but you can see the seal right there. There are little notches there, so you should, in theory, you should be able to peel those back. Um, and I'm not sure how much it's going to show up in the camera, but with the oxygen absorbers in there, that you can, there really isn't any air in there to speak of. It absorbs the oxygen, and in fact, if you get it at the right angle, you might see some of the beans kind of poking out a little bit there. That's exactly the way you want to see it. Now this, two pounds of beans, uh, you know, freeze dried of course, so pretty light. This will last probably 20 to 25 years is what they tell us. So these beans, I could be eating these, we're in 2021 right now, I could easily be eating these in 2040. So now I'll show you one more thing here. Um, <clears throat> Here's some. We had blanched these particular beans. Those beans were not blanched. But these beans have been blanched. And if you want, you can do this with strawberries, you know, just about any, any type of food. Um, you can just eat it the way it is. You don't have to rehydrate there. Now, on these, we threw some seasoned salt on them. Let me see if I can break this. See if you can see that. I'm going to break this and just... Hopefully that showed up. Basically it just powdered because there is no moisture in there at all. They're good by the way. I like, we like snacking on them. A couple of my kids and I like snacking on them. Not everybody likes them, but there's not a lot of flavor on these. I need to find a better way to get a little bit more of the flavor, a little more seasoning on it if we, we try to use it as a snack. But there's two oxygen absorbers in there just because well, we've gone through a couple bags already. So. so that's it. This really wasn't meant to be a tutorial. It was just because a lot of, we've been talking to a lot of people about it and they just want to see it. So I just thought I'd post this video. So I might, uh, I'm about to put some more beans in there. So maybe I'll add that into this video. Other than that, uh, so far we're pretty happy with it. It'll save a lot of freezer space for us and also enable us to continue to just keep growing uh, food and store it.